Yo, what's good, y'all? Welcome or welcome back to the Ghost Prophetic Vessel. It's your girl, Billy Go, and we got a message for you. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. This could be past, present, or future information for you. I don't choose the storyline or the cards that come out. The Holy Spirit and my spiritual team does. These could be timeless. These are timeless messages. So regardless if you're coming across this month, week, days, years from now, it's still valid, okay? Sacred resonates, leave the rest behind. This is a Capricorn and Chosen One channel. So this is for my Capricorns and Chosen Ones. Holy Spirit, what is the message? Nine of Swords in reverse. So you're starting to see um somebody's true colors here you're starting to see somebody that you were close to whether this is a friend family member uh, a situation ship a marriage a relationship four of wands in reverse um for some of you guys this could be a false flame a false uh or a karmic twin flame that you're dealing with here somebody's uh praying trying to heal things with you or wanting to hear things with you This is some this is with somebody that things didn't go right with, okay, in the past. Or this is how they're feeling about you. Like things didn't things didn't go right. Or go how they wanted it, or go how you wanted it. Somebody didn't change. Like we all have shit that's things, but somebody didn't change. So you had to persevere through something or you're being guided to. With the Leo card, Scorpio energy here too. Um, Nine of Cups here. So, okay, so somebody. Be mindful of whoever's true colors that you have uh, seen or you're being guided to see. They could be trying to hold on to you with the four of pentacles here. Playing games with the knight of wands in reverse. They're like a player. They are a player. They feel like they have unfinished business with you. And a player, to be a player, you don't just have to cheat on people. You or you could just try to play people like... You know, you tell them a lie, you steal from them, you jack them, you're cruel to them. But also at the same time, nobody wants to be with the player. Um, This could also break your heart with the fact that you didn't know whoever this was was like this. Or they didn't know that you were like this. Um, I'm hearing so crooked. Yeah, for a lot of you guys, this was hard. And that's understandable. But you you had to see some look at that, a player. You had to see separation. You had to see someone for what and who they truly are. Regardless of what you wanted to see. Or regardless of what you want to see. But you know, you make your own decisions. If you want to book a personal reading, you can feel free to do so via the website link that's linked in the description box. DonHuanSpiritualGuidance.com It's the only way to book a personal reading with us at this time. Feel free to also subscribe to our Zodiac YouTube channel, Donwa Spiritual Guidance. That link is also in the description box too. See, I told you this energy was stealing, stealing from you, okay? Spiritually taking your essence during sex to build off of it or giving it to someone else. Yeah, and that's the thing too. Somebody was trying to like have a come up off of you, whether physically or spirit and or spiritually. You know, they were trying to get to their wish fulfillment. There's nothing wrong with trying to get to your wish fulfillment, but it's, it's how. Somebody was trying to recuperate, rebuild off of your energy. And like... Like with no intentions of including you with the energy that they're stealing from you. 
So like this is a situation where let's say you have somebody who's not spiritual paired with somebody who is spiritual. Or maybe you're a little spiritual, you're just getting into it and you don't know all the ramifications of things that can be done. Um, some of you guys could have fell victim to this because it is what it is, right? Because I usually call this spiritual rape, spiritual spiritual molestation. Some, so basically somebody can have sex with you or can lay down with you, be in your auric field. And if they're spiritually inclined, because a person that is of life, they're not going to try to do this. But somebody can purposely try to steal your essence, steal, harvest your energy. I had to learn that. I didn't know that. I didn't know that a destiny swap could be possible. I didn't know that energy harvesting could be possible in this type of way. I, I didn't know. I had to learn. And I learned the hard way. So, um... But also just be mindful because, you know, the person, the person that I dealt with, I didn't even know that they were that far into it. I didn't know. I didn't know. Right. But I take what take what I learned now. Right. So same thing for you guys. Just be mindful. OK, uh, spiritually taking blood, taking your blood from your tampons, pads, using your hair and or objects of yours to do rituals. Physically taking your money, food, items, false sign false signatures. So somebody could be um, signing false, you know, signing your name on documents that's not supposed to be taking your name off of a document that's not supposed to be taken off of. Um, you know, rewriting a document wrongfully and submitting that document instead of the original document. Just a lot of forgery here as well. Okay, the destiny swapping, the energy harvesting, and then trying to take it over to somebody else and building with it. That's that's wrong. And you just be mindful who hairs you shake, who who you give a hug to, and stuff like that. Who you leave your pad around. Because I didn't when I say this happened to me, I didn't know that this person practiced actively practiced black magic. I didn't know that this was something that was in their family. Cause it was God this, God that. Heaven this, heaven that. Prayer this, prayer affirmation, manifestation that. Right? So I'm just letting I'm just letting you know. These are these are different things that people who don't don't who because wolf and sheep's clothing, these are people who they don't actively Hey, I'm a black magic and I'm I'm purposely trying to screw you over. No, they have to put on a they have to put on a mask because people aren't gonna willingly go to somebody that's gonna screw them over. Oh no, you scamming people. Why would you go? Why would a person go to somebody that's knowingly scamming? So this is why pe people of the dark have to put on a mask. Because they're trying to fool people. That's the purpose. But that doesn't make it right. And I'm learning too, you can't let everybody do your hair because they could potentially try to do the same thing if they practice black magic. You can't let everybody into your home. You can't let everybody, you know, have your clothes, your clothes. So if you got like a hoodie or something and you have a significant other or a friend, that friend or their family member could practice black magic and you just don't want to get want them to get a hold of your stuff. And I'm not saying be paranoid. But I'm just saying, like, I didn't even know that things could be to the degree that it was. Like, I had no idea. Right? So, you know, hopefully you guys aren't dealing with people like that. But a lot of people in the in the light working community are. And so and majority of the time they did they didn't know that their family, you know, a lot because a lot of times people who practice this stuff, they go to church. Right? They the main one sitting in the pews. Yes, Lord. Yes, God bless them. And then they go home and do use a voodoo doll on somebody. Or they then they go home and do a free spell on somebody. Then they go home and do, you know, they try to act like put that like the hand of God in somebody's life. And I understand you might be mad at somebody. I understand if you want to get revenge. I understand if you don't if you're not feeling happy. But I'm not saying that that's the way that it should be handled. You're perfectly able to feel how you feel. Your spiritual being having a humanistic experience. But you're going to fuck up your life more by doing the black magic. And not even just your life, your bloodline's life. 
your children's 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 lives by doing this just because you're jealous or envious or whatever the case may be you better handle that in a different way that's healthier right so this same energy that you are dealing with i'm craving you really bad i'm yearning for you now for some of some of this this could be you flip the energies as you see fit some of you guys could have been the one practicing black magic or went to a dark practitioner to handle the affairs whichever way god saw it everything is going to be rectified Yeah, so we have red flags. So make sure you pay attention to whatever you may consider red flags, okay? There's red flags in this connection. Don't ignore the red flags if you don't have to. Red flags are letting you know when something in or someone isn't healthy for you, okay? So don't don't mistake lust for love and abuse is not love either. It's not love and don't settle for less if you don't have to. We have single and ready to mingle, interested in having a commitment, rather monogamous or poly. So for some of you guys, you could be ready to mingle. If you've been single for a while, everybody is not going to be in the same season while watching this. Second chance. So they want a second chance with you or you want a second chance with whoever this is. A reunion. I want a second chance with you getting back together. Um, if all parties involved consent to. Okay, so just because you're single doesn't mean that you have to give anybody a second chance. Okay, just because you may accept somebody's apology doesn't mean that you have to give them a second chance either. Or just because you forgive somebody, forgiveness does not mean reconciliation. Now, if you want to, that's perfectly fine. You make your own decisions. And for those of you guys that want to purchase this deck, this is... We need to talk an 88 called Oracle deck that's created by myself, my spiritual team, and the Holy Spirit, okay? So if you want to purchase this deck, this deck is available online, down on spiritualguidance.com. The link will be in the description box, okay? All right, I'm coming in your dreams, disguising myself as people you know with my shapeshifter ability. So be mindful of your dreams because, again, especially these spiritually more spiritually inclined people, um, the more spiritually, I don't even say more spiritually inclined. There's some people that know how to dream hop. You know that SpongeBob episode where SpongeBob was jumping into people's dreams. So, you know, they could be jumping into your dreams, shape shifting as your mom, shape shifting as a lover of yours, shape shifting as people that you trust because they actively know that you don't trust them. But God seeing that too. Okay. So just be mindful. Stop playing. You know, you're my baby. So they, they feel like they want you to stop playing. I know I need to get my shit together. It's been hard. But that doesn't mean that they, they steal from you. Or that doesn't mean that you steal from them. Last card. Oh, that's a card that I didn't see. Uh, we have embarrassment and talking shit. I feel embarrassed and ashamed of my actions and talking shit. I talk bad about you to my friends and family. So for a lot of you guys, you dodged a bullet. Or they dodged dodge a bullet from you because don't nobody want to be around this. Hell no. This is going to mess up somebody's healing journey, not help it. Yeah, so for a lot of you guys, there was infidelity, okay? And they, they want a second chance, you know? Or this is you. Flip the energies as you see fit. Would you make your own decisions, okay, guys? Peace out, deuces.